Welcome to Honey Time. Often there are ingredients which we use for making cakes or mousses or specialized puddings. Um, these ingredients could be candied peel, or crystallized ginger, or pralines, or nougatine. All these ingredients, either you can buy them from shops or you can make them. So I have decided to show you crystallized ginger or candied ginger, uh, which can be used in a variety of cookies or mousses or uh, in a nougat, many many such uh, puddings and desserts. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Ingredients and the quantities will be in the description below. Let's get started. Okay, firstly, I've just taken this much ginger. Okay, I don't, I don't know how much it weighs, washed it. You need to have really sharp peelers and knife as well. There's a lot of sand in between these devices, so I will chop it off. Now that the ginger is peeled, we need to slice them. Cut them roughly this size and this thickness. And cut them against the grain. When I say against the grain, you can see likely there is some strands coming here. So against them, not along with them. Otherwise you will find the ginger, kind of ginger too chewy. All this in a pot. I lightly warmed up the water, so that's why it's making a bit sizzling sound. And one teaspoon of salt, and let it cook for roughly. 50 minutes, 50 to an hour. The ginger has been cooking for more than an hour now and we should take them out. Leave these to drain for a minute. The quantity starts to work now because we're going to weigh the ginger. Okay, so it's 230 grams roughly. So we need to add 230 grams of sugar. I'm going to use 250 grams of demerara sugar. Half a glass of water. This is pretty much ready. You can see how it's turned translucent. It's taken as much sugar as it can. It's time to spread them on a parchment paper like here and cool it. Okay, we just spread them out. The ginger is cooled enough and we can start dusting them in caster sugar.
try and get as less syrup as possible in the sugar. This lasts for a long time because it's kind of a preservation method because you blanched it first, cooked it in salt water and then literally syrup cooked it. It's got a long life. So this is ready to be used in your cakes or garnishes just in your crumbs like um, apple crumble, peach crumble you can just chop it finely and mix it in your crumbs and there you go so we've got our crystallized ginger or candied ginger ready to be used I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, please like and subscribe and uh, please note the ingredients and the method of cooking is also in the description below please suggest or request uh, any tutorials you would like us to do and look forward to make a new tutorial with you see you soon thank you very much